Good morning, this is Dwayne, and we're doing a series this week on uh, good stuff you really ought to know about music, having to do with music theory. And today I'd like to take up a very small area uh, called suspensions, chordal suspensions. You know a chord has three or more notes, so that's a C chord, that's a C seventh chord. Quite often you can make a chord more interesting by instead of playing the third right away, you can play the fourth first. So it's suspended like that. The fourth takes the place of the third. Sometimes it resolves, not always. In much of jazz and fusion music, now they don't resolve the suspension, they just hold the suspension going to the next chord. Okay? But in a common song like this. See, the chord is C7, but instead of the E, I'm replacing the E with the, the fourth, the E's the third, that's the fourth, so it takes the place of the third, and then it's usually harmonized with the second or the ninth, so you have that sound, instead of, instead of that you have this, it's really a more mellow sound, okay, so here's G7, what would a, what would a suspension be? You just need to find the third and replace it with the fourth. And then you can resolve if you want to. If I was playing Misty, I might start with that. In other words, start with the suspension and then resolve it before I go on. Okay, and that's all there is to a suspension. The fourth takes the place of the third in the chord, sometimes temporarily, but not always. Okay, thanks for being with me, and if you enjoy these little tips, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for our free series of piano tips. So I hope to see you there. Bye-bye for now.